Are you struggling to create a colored pattern using CG Pattern in Swift? You're not alone. Many developers find it challenging to convert Objective-C examples to Swift. Today, we're gonna to simplify that process for you. I totally get it. Trying to make sense of Apple's Objective-C examples can feel like deciphering a foreign language. It's frustrating when you just wanna get your code working, but don't worry, we're here to tackle this together. Here's the specific question we're addressing. One user asked, what is the proper syntax to use callbacks with CG pattern in Swift? They shared their initial attempt, but they need help with the draw pattern parameter and passing the info parameter correctly. Sound familiar? Let's dive in. So what's the issue here? The draw pattern parameter in CG pattern callbacks is crucial for defining how your pattern is drawn. Plus, using the info parameter allows you to pass additional data to your drawing function. Let's break this down step by step and stick around. By the end of this video, you'll not only have the correct syntax, but also a deeper understanding of how to work with CG pattern in Swift. To begin solving this issue, the user needs to define the drawing callback function. This function will be responsible for rendering the pattern Let's create a method that matches the expected signature. Next, the user should update the callback structure to include this new drawing function. This is done by assigning the function to the draw pattern property of the callbacks. Now, the user needs to pass the correct value for the info parameter when creating the CG pattern. This is where we pass self, allowing the drawing function to access properties of the class. Finally, the user should implement the drawing logic inside the draw pattern function. This is where the actual pattern rendering will take place using the provided context. Fun fact, did you know that the first version of Swift was released in 2014? It has come a long way since then, making it easier for developers to create beautiful applications. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach involves using the CG pattern draw pattern callback closure. This closure takes two parameters, info and CG context. You can define the callbacks with a drawing function that uses the info parameter to access your class instance. It's important to note that these closures cannot capture external context. Instead, you should pass self as an unsafe mutable raw pointer to the CG pattern initializer and convert it back inside the drawing callback. Finally, when using the pattern, remember to set the fill color space before applying the pattern. This ensures the colored pattern is rendered correctly. Here's a quick recap. Define your draw pattern function and remember to pass self as the info parameter. This will set you on the right path to creating your colored pattern. And there you have it. With these tips, you should be able to successfully use callbacks with CG Pattern in Swift. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more coding tips and tricks. Happy coding.